Hello, and welcome back to Flange O'Clock. Today we're going to be discussing studding outlets, or pad flanges. The studding outlet is mounted directly onto the OD, or sometimes the ID, of your pipe or vessel. It has a facing, either raised face, flat face, or RTJ, that interacts with the face of the flange that you're wanting to bolt directly onto it. In this case, I have a 1 inch 150. I also have a 1 inch 150 blind. The raised faces would go together, and then you would have a hex headed bolt go through the blind and thread into the tapped bolt hole of the studding outlet. You'll notice that the holes inside the studding outlet are blind. That is, they don't go all the way through the studding outlet. Of the different mounting styles, the flat bottom is the most straightforward. It's also the most common, and as the name implies, it has a flat bottom. You can use this on either flat vessels or very large ones. For if there's a very large curvature, sometimes this doesn't actually need to have a radius cut into it. The flat bottom might suffice. The shell and head mount are not flat on the bottom. They have a radius cut into them. These particular ones have the same size radius, but this one here is a shell mount and this one is a head mount. The shell matches a cylinder or pipe and the head matches either an elliptical head or a hemispherical head. Note that the radius size will drastically change what the bottom of that studding outlet looks like. The minimum thickness normally is controlled and then any extra radius will be accomplished with added material. So if you have a very small radius on your vessel, you'll see a large curvature on your studding outlet. Conversely, a very large vessel would have almost no curvature. The last option is a tangential mount. The tangential, you'll see, is quite a bit heavier and it's gonna be a lot more expensive. This one is thinnest only at one part this place right here on the OD, and all of the curvature is accomplished throughout the rest of the part. The tangential is going to mount similar to a shell or a head, but off center. And so if the center is here, the part would curve, and then the tangential mount would then be tangent to the plane, but off center. So we need to know the size of the vessel it's going on and how far off center the center of the studding outlet would be. The ID of a studding outlet is the same as the nominal pipe size. So a four inch is four inches ID instead of four and a half. And this one inch flange has a 1.00 inch ID. To fully describe a studding outlet or a stud pad or a pad flange, you need the size, the pressure class, the facing, the type is stud out, and then the mounting type, flat bottom, shell mount, head mount, or tangential. In the latter three cases, we need to know what it's going on and what size, be it a 36 inch pipe or a 42 inch two to one elliptical head. We assume it's a two to one elliptical unless otherwise specified. And in the case of the tangential, we need to know what the offset from the center line is. If you have any other questions about studding outlets or any other flanges, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email so we can get you the flanges you need when you need them.